lounging, lounging with the laces. You and me, family. Lounging, oh, lounging, lounging with the laces. Changing the world one vlog at a time. One vlog at a time, one vlog at a time. The Lacy's. The Lacy's. The Lacy's. Good Wednesday morning. I've got someone with me. Someone didn't go to school today because of toothache. So <clears throat> we are headed to the dentist to go see what they have to do. He said yesterday at his field trip, uh, one of his chewing teeth it chipped so uh well, yeah we gotta get that fixed because it was bothering him and there's nothing worse than tooth pain so I'm gonna go handle that and then if they end up fixing it more than likely he'll just stay home because he has a tough time with uh his numbing he um needs to basically sleep it off um, he can't like some kids can go back to school and stuff. He can't do that. He has to He has to rest. He has extremely long roots if you guys I don't know if we vlogged That last year in June if we did it's gonna be on the other channel on the super mama 3 plus 1 channel in June What four days before your dance recital? He had to have a surgery because when they tried to just pull a tooth it wouldn't come out because he had literally the largest longest roots the surgeon had seen in 25 years of being a surgeon he'd never seen anything like that in a kid so um, because he has these really strong roots it's sometimes hard to get his tooth pulled um, just at the uh, regular dentist so I'm hoping that they're just gonna clean it out and fill it um, but they may pull it or try to I don't really know I just hope it's not drama like that time because that was crazy so yeah so that's where we're going to the dentist well my uh worst fears have been answered he definitely needs to have surgery again um uh, his adult tooth is coming through and pushing that one tooth and um sure enough the root was wrapped around that adult tooth kind of clamped into it so if they start pulling that's just gonna be a hot mess so they had to refer him to the surgeon so now we've got to deal with a little bit of some insurance drama with that um, so we got we got the referral to send in this time it was some it was just crazy we had to have our dentist fax the referral to the insurance and then the insurance had to contact the hospital the surgeon that does the the tooth so it was some drama but um it ended up being very low cost as far as our copay um because we went through the insurance portion of it uh, but um so i don't know what's going to happen but yeah he's got to have it i'm going home to get his uh get him something to eat and then okay, I'm gonna drop him off at school it's not bothering him right now so that's good and then um, I got to give Jimmy the referral so he does everything since we get insurance through his job he has to do all that stuff because I don't have the first clue who to call or what to do so he's going to take care of that part and then um, they'll call me for scheduling and all that stuff so he wanted to get it out today. He really doesn't want to have the surgery um, because last time he had it, the after effect was pretty bad. Um, he just doesn't like the dizziness and everything was spinning. He couldn't open his eyes and it made him feel sick and stuff. So yeah, well, you're definitely gonna have a game plan this time around and have him a lot more comfortable at home. So yeah, <clears throat> so I'm I'm just uh, I'm almost to the house. I'm gonna get his uh sandwich and then um, he's got a lunch and stuff. But he doesn't have lunch for another two hours, so we're gonna grab a sandwich real quick and then uh, drop him off at school. All right, we are uh, waiting for Jariah to get back from her field trip to the state capitol. So she should be back uh, any moment in in like the next 15 minutes, and then Sean. He went on a field trip today to a university. Uh -huh. 
Right. Right, Sean? Mm -hmm. How was it? Oh, it was great. He said they had a huge cafeteria with plenty of food in it. And they all got sick eating all the food. Because they had so much. He playing this tablet so he's not paying me any attention. And then this one right here, no field trip. You went on yours yesterday, right, Moo? Mm -hmm. He went to the zoo. Moon went to the zoo yesterday. So yeah, we just sitting waiting. I got somewhat of a headache, so I've taken some ibuprofen, hoping to get rid of it. You're late. Yeah, you're late. What's up, Dry? Why y'all late? No, I don't know how you late. <laughs> Okay, ma'am, everything go on. Oh, it was good. And I made sure I checked the for my money. Okay, and did you I get got, anything? Yeah, I got some. What'd you get? I like, got a mustache. Oh. A mustache thing. Okay. That's on Friday, right? Yeah. Okay. We don't no crazy hair days. Oh, crazy hair. That's right. And we got to go to this awesome museum. You had a good time? We took some photos. And we took photos with, like, this wax I made out of Abraham Lincoln. Oh, yeah. We okay. could touch it because of Alright. Alright, well, Jariah is back and we are off to baseball. We will catch up with her yeah. and ask how her trip went once we get situated. Okay, so we're making progress here. We ran home. They got changed. They worked my nerve. I worked their nerve. People got yelled at. Now we in the car and we're leaving. Mom! <laughs> Alright, we are headed to drop Daniel off. And I'm not staying at his game. So we're going to give him the cell phone for emergency purposes. And then um, I'm going to go to Sean's game and hang out and watch his game today. So, um, yeah, we are uh, moving and grooving. And it's, it's just got dark. It's looked like it's going to rain. If it rains, just try to take shelter till I get back, okay? Just try to make a friend, see if you can sit in their car. You know how it works. Ask somebody's mama. See ya. Do good, Moo. Remember. So they're rich. Bye. Bye, Mom. All right. changing it's windy walking up here to daniel's baseball game come check him out uh marcia is over at the other one watching sean so get a little footage of my little guy playing cheer him on screen for him go ahead and tell him to go ahead he can go ahead and start dominating now daddy is here um, other than that today is a, a boring day it's just a boring day See, like it's about to rain. I feel a little couple of raindrops. So, see you guys in a bit. Today was one of them days where it's just like, what, it's, it's the middle of the week. Really, it's the middle of the week. Thursday, we start to turn up. 
that's when you start to turn up on Thursday. You know, everybody turned up on Friday. It's the weekend. But, yeah, man, it's just the middle of the week. Baseball. It's fun to watch. Watch the little kids. Uh-oh, there we go. We getting it. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Nice hit. Nice hit out there, guys. Yes. All right, we're leaving the game, and it was a close one, six to seven. So the other team team ended up winning. So yeah, so we are going home. I don't know how Daniel did. Um, <laughs> Jimmy said they were just walking kids over there. Everybody was being walked. So we'll see. Uh, yeah, so we on our way to the house. How you feeling, Dan? Good. Tell the people how you did today. <laughs> you did good? <laughs> it was a tie ball game, people. Uh, but man. they said it was a ball. How you lose? But they didn't look. It was a little, little baby league is what I call it. Now farm league is what they call it. They didn't lose by four. Pretty much they let the kids pitch kind of to develop them and like they was just walking everybody just walked but man then we had to go get some i think it's gyros lamb meat right you know what i don't even know what it is at this point in my life after doing all my studies and nutrition and all the stuff like that we all everything you eat is messed up man i think half the food half the food in america that we eat other countries find it unfit for human consumption it's crazy, like over in the UK, like a lot of the foods that we got, processed foods that we got, they ban them. Especially makeup products and a whole bunch of other stuff, they ban, they don't even produce it. They find it unfit for human consumption. I believe here in America, right, if you got a lot of money and you wanna come out with a food product, you can, you can develop a food product. And I think the guidelines is this, as long as it doesn't kill the person, like right then and there after they eat it, it'll pass through. It's specific guidelines they follow. Like, you know, some of the food stuff, if you consume it over five to 10 years, is guaranteed to give you cancer or kill you. That's okay. Because, hey, it didn't immediately kill you, so it's, it's fine. That's the US for you. Money talks. Forget about humanity. Money talks, that's it. So, if you, <laughs> all the food most of the foods in america are banned in other countries unfit for human consumption that's how it is people and we about to go eat some of them. and then go home and relax with the family